Happy Sunday. Hallelujah. What a day. Amen. This is the second Sunday, the month of January 2021. The second Sunday already. The, ro- the year has started. And I trust God that the Lord has been gracious to you. Wherever you are, you're watching us live. Or you're going to watch us later. The Lord's going to bless you. And you're going to... Uh, but blessed through the telecast in the name of Jesus. Let's just worship the Lord and just let's just give him praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Uh, found a place where I can lay my head is a holy presence of the Lord. I have found a place where I can lay my head is a holy presence of the living God. There is a mountain, there is a mountain. Where I can find help, there is a mountain where I can run to. It's the holy presence of the Lord. I have found a place where I can lay my head is the holy presence of the living God. There is a mountain, there is a mountain. Where I can run to, there is a mountain where I can find help. Is the holy presence of the living God. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We give you praise. We give you honor. Hallowed be your name, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. There, there's a woman that's watching me right now. You fell down recently and you, you, you have a pain by your knee side. You fell down. As a matter of fact, I see when you fell down, they took so they used this white wrap to tie the leg. They tie the leg. But they, 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 that white, I don't know what they call that, and they use in tying the leg. Uh, um, the pop, the pop, not the, not the pop is like a, a bandage. This rope, this not the cast. It's like a, like a solo tape. This white something they use in the like a net. They use it tying the 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 the, the, the nails. Now they, they, you remove that thing, but at time most of the time you feel the same pain in that leg, in that nails. I prophesy that healing is permanent for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you that showed it, showed me right now. Perfect it, heal it now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I bless your name. This this woman I'm seeing is over 50 years. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, uh, today's Sunday, we'll be looking at another topic. If you... If you didn't uh, follow up on Thursday, just go to our YouTube channel and uh, uh, get a message on Thursday, the pains and gains of fasting, so that you'll be able to follow us appropriately to know because we are building on what to, what to, what to, what to preach on Thursday. So go to our YouTube channel and get the pains and gain of fasting. And I begin to say on Thursday that uh, we don't fast because we want to fast. And I say fasting is when people decide to give up eating or drinking for a while to seek the Lord for a particular period of time. And I said, uh, uh, what are the purpose of fasting? I said, number one, to seek God's direction. And I said, number two, fasting humbles us before God, amen. Then number three, uh, it brings repentance before God, amen. Uh, so you need to go to our YouTube channel, 
get that message and listen to the full message. Now, this Sunday, I'll be looking on the message, the benefit of fasting. The benefit, that's why I recast so that you know where I'm coming from. The benefit of fasting. Now, our text is taken from the book of uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 16 to 18. Matthew chapter 6, verse 16 to 18. Matthew chapter 6, verse 16, 16 to, 18. to 18. Yes. Moreover, when you fast, when you fast, be not as the hypocrite. Now, now listen, no, stop there. It said, moreover, when you fast, so it's mandatory you fast. It didn't say if you fast. So, moreover, when you fast, so you must reach a point that you must fast. Whether you are fasting for one day, you are fasting for uh, for three days or seven days, you must have to fast. Continue for me. Moreover, when you fast, mm -hmm. be not as the hypocrites yes. of a sad countenance. Yes. For they disfigure their faces that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Mm. But thou, have when thou reward. fastest, anoint thy head when thou and fastest, wash anoint thy the head. face. Yes. That thou appear not Pierre. unto men to fast mm -hmm. but unto thy father which is in secret secret and thy father which see it in secret shall reward thee openly hallelujah hallelujah now what jesus was saying here there's a lot of people who when they fast they declare the whole world we are fasting that you know we're going to start fasting by so so day we're going to stop by so so day and when you see them in the place of work say i can't talk now because i'm fasting at that time they begin to walk gentle when you push them, say, why are you push you not you know I'm fasting? When you tell them to, to do this, do this, do that, uh, in the place of work, say, my strength is failing me, I'm fasting. That's not the fasting we're talking about. Fasting has benefit. The benefit of fasting. Everything we do has a benefit and a reward, either good or bad. Everything we do have a benefit. What you are doing right now, if you don't like the benefit, it's going to come later on, the reward, change it. Everything we do has a benefit. Hallelujah. So the benefit this uh, uh, day I'm looking at, this Sunday I'm looking at, the benefit of fasting. We do not fast for just fasting sake. We do not just fast because we want to fast, because someone tell us to fast. Now, when someone put you on fasting, tell them, why am I fasting? Is it because of my news? Is it because of this? Is it because of this job? Why am I fasting? So we do not fast for just fasting sake, but there are reward and benefit attached to fasting. Attached to the exercise called fasting. What are the reward? What are my benefit? Am I fasting to just discipline my skin? Why is it? Uh, my, my, my flesh is also a benefit. Am I fasting so that I can get that job? It's a benefit. Am I fasting for a spiritual gain? It's a benefit. Whatever benefit you desire to fast, you must have to get it. So we do not fast for people to see us. That we are fasting or we are fasting machine. We choose to fast because God commanded it. Jesus said, When ye fast. So it's mandatory that one day you must fast. You may not fast now. A whole lot of people today who are praying today is because when things were going on where they are not praying. But when things decide to lose dive, that is the time they begin to run for prayers to prayer house. But when the time to fast and pray, they won't fast. That's the time because their children misbehave or their husband is behaving or their wife is behaving. They begin to look for a prophet. Prophet, prophet, say to me, what do you see? Uh, as a prophet, I've seen a lot of things that people walk to me. He said, prophet, tell me, what did you see? What is my need? What did you see? What is God telling you? Now, they begin to fast under pressure. So, we do not fast because we are under pressure. Let it be a lifestyle. So, you must understand. You must ask yourself, what is the motive of your fasting? When God vet it now, vet your, 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 your motive, can he say you are truly fasting because you love him? What is your motive of fasting? Fasting alone without prayers is a mere religious exercise that will lead to torture of this flesh and the body. Fasting alone, when you fast and you're not praying, is, is a religious exercise. It's gonna, it's not, in fact, you may not even get benefit from it. Some people, when they are fasting, they begin to look at the time. Look at the time. Look at the time. Now, when you, know, it's, when you reach a level where you fast, 7 o'clock in the evening, you are, you are not hungry. The next day, you are not hungry. But the more you are going, strength is coming to you. So, fasting without prayer, because you are fasting, you are praying. You are renewing your strength. When you renew your strength through prayers, that is fasting. He said, those that wait upon the Lord, they shall man like man, uh, uh, like man uh, ego. They shall run and not be weary. That means you be fasting and you are not weary. Hallelujah. 
So you need to fast and pray, not just fasting. Don't touch yourself. Don't be fasting from, from morning from morning, 8 o'clock. You're already thinking what you're going to use to break in the evening. No. You begin to look at the time. So what time is it? Okay, remain four hours. Okay, remain two hours. Okay, remain one hour. 30 minutes now. In fact, when it's 30 minutes, you're already preparing food. You make this, you make that, you make that. That is not benefit. So you are trust more, you are, you are depend more on the food now than the fasting. Today, and I believe God, this Sunday, the law is going to teach you to know how to fast so that you can get this benefit. You need to learn how to fast. I've been fasting for since I was born, born again, but I don't feel it. Oh, hallelujah. Some days, well, you can feel that, uh, that your strength is, 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 is uh, you are losing strength, but that's how you begin to pray in the, in the Holy Ghost, recharging yourself. You see, building up yourself in the most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, according to Jude in the Holy Ghost. You need to pray in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Now the power of the benefits of fasting and prayers. Number one benefit is draw us closer to God. Draws us closer to God. If you are far away, fasting draws you closer to God. Isaiah said, come on, let's listen together. Uh, let's listen to it. Do your skin. Now, before Isaiah was not close, uh, Isaiah was not close to God as a young prophet. But now he saw the Lord. I see the Lord. For oh, my eyes I see the King. You, the Lamb upon the throne, the throne who reigns forever. For my eyes. For my eyes the sin the key the lamb upon the throne who reigns forevermore. When Isaiah saw the law, he saw, he, he discovered that, he said, Woe unto me for I am undone. I am a man that dwells upon the king. I am undone. Fasting draws us closer to God. Any fasting that will not make you have intimacy with God is a useless and only seeking approval of men. And when you seek approval of men, there's no benefit. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Number two, it helps us build our spiritual capacity. It helps us build our spiritual capacity. Matthew chapter 17, verse 21. We're going to be very brief this Sunday because uh, there's a lot of things to be done after, this, after the service. Matthew chapter 17, verse 21. Verse 21. Matthew chapter 17, verse 21. Mm. How be it, this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. This kind goeth not. It can't go at all. So you need to build your capacity in the place of prayers and fasting. If you want to be powerful spiritually, build your capacity. Enter days of fasting. You want to see blind open and say, Pastor, no, you, <laughs> you, you, cannot, you cannot be watching movie uh, on Saturday night, eating food, eating everything, and you want the blind to be open on Sunday. No. Build up your capacity. Spend hours in prayers. Most times when I fast with a program, you could say, miracles all over the without praying. Miracles. Miracles are happening. Blind eyes are opening. Lame, lame are jumping up on witches. The lame are jumping up on witches. It builds up. So I recommend you to seek the law through prayers and fasting. Luke chapter 4, verse 14. Okay, Talam Hashad. Luke chapter 4, verse 14. Chapter 4 and verse 14. And Jesus returned in the power of the and Spirit, Jesus returned the power of the Spirit. Into, Galilee. into Galilee. And there went out a fame of him he throughout went the all the region round and about. Passes. Jesus returned. He was a mountain top for 40 years after. But when he came at his feet, he built capacity. You can't just sit down and you don't fast a whole year, you don't fast. No, fasting is not a, 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 a denominational thing. It's from God. You see, when ye fast, 
Daniel built his spiritual capacity to fasting and prayers. He said Daniel will fast every day. Uh, he, he, during the time of his prayer, he will go and pray. Open his windows, pray. Queen Esther built up her capacity to a place of fasting and prayer. And she conquered the wickedness of Mordecai. Uh, of Mordecai. Uh, Haman, sorry, of Haman. He destroyed the plan of the Amen, and Mordecai was, was, was enthroned. Hallelujah. Number three is bring seven down on earth. Fasting, bring heavens down on earth. Let's look at uh, Luke 11, verse 2. Mm. Mm. Chapter 11 and verse 2. Mm. And he said unto them, when you pray, when you say, pray, say our Father, uh -huh. which art in heaven, uh -huh. hallowed be thy name. Be thy thy name. kingdom come. Ah. I will be done as in heaven, so in earth. So you are bringing heaven down on earth. Sickness is not permitted in heaven. It must not be permitted, permitted in your body. No. Bringing heaven down on earth. Hallelujah. So it brings seven down. Now, there are men who walk on earth like God during that time. A man like Elijah and Elisha walk like that. A man like and Bible say Enoch didn't die, Enoch grew, and, and it was not. He went to meet the Lord. Elijah went to meet the, with the Lord. Pain of it. Well, pick, pick up the God general. Really look at the God general. Some of them walk on net, unquestionable. I heard about a man called Joseph Ayodele Babala from Nigeria, an apostle in those days, and uh, he founded CSE. He said he was in the prayer mode, praying and fasting, and with his, all his uh, pastors, some of his pastors. And the villagers decided to gather them, were wicked, gather to see they can kill him. And, and he, he told them to hold, hold their hands, and all, they hold their hands in their chain. And he, and he screamed, in the name of Jesus. History said that the wind carried them from that village to another mountain. They contemplate. He made the sea. Oh, he brings. No, no. It, that one, one, one time he said, Bola, he, he looked at the tree and cursed the tree and fire came immediately. Not in the dream. Physical fire came and burned down the tree. Hallelujah. It makes you bring heaven down on earth. And lastly, it makes us a terror to our enemies. It makes us a terror to our enemies. Psalm chapter 71. Psalm chapter 71, verse 7. Depending on the last benefit I'm reading today, it makes us a terror to our enemies. One, yes. Verse seven. Verse seven. I am as a wonder. I am as a wonder. Unto many, mm -hmm. but thou but art thou my strong my refuge. Strength, my refuge. Thou art my strength and refuge. When you fast, if you become a terror to the kingdom of darkness, when they call your name in their coven, fire reply them, thunder reply them. You can't carry my name to a, to a voodoo priest and it work. It will not work. Call my name to any, any, any marine power. It won't work. Don't reply them. It makes you terror. Now, there are, there are certain pictures they don't carry to, 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 to voodoo priests. They say, no, no, we don't want trouble. Don't trouble. Don't bring trouble. Don't want trouble. Because they see you as, as a principality in their kingdom. Strongholds that they cannot touch. Hallelujah. As you were engaged in fasting this year, I tell you there's benefit. And the Lord will reward you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's bow ahead to, to pray in this Sunday service. Lost in us in us, I can tell you, Godomanangus. 
And it's Joe. Z Z Z Bio. Obire Nandiko. Lingro, you that's watching me right now. You need to engage you in this fasting because there's benefit. Thank you, Lord. This on this service that they who those who are watching me online right now, that live, are gonna watch me later. That is I need man of God. I need to connect me to Jesus. I'm, if you are ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. You're gonna say, put your hand in your chest, you that's washing me. Whether it's on Sunday now, you wash me another day. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner that need repentance. Have mercy upon me, Lord. Write my name in the book of life. Would I reject you? I declare that I belong to Jesus. From henceforth, I declare with my mouth and I believe from my heart that I'm born again. Thank you for saving my soul. In Jesus' name. Let me pray for you, Father. I thank you. Bless you. Name of God. Affirm that word. Oh Lord, devil will reject you. We will bring out the blood of Jesus upon these ones. They will not turn, but they will not go back in the name of Jesus. Amen. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now that you're saved, please go to our website and just drop a message for us. Let us know you are saved so that we will actually send some material to help you build up your spiritual capacity, like what we had. Uh, as a child, you need to build up your spiritual capacity. The Lord will keep you, and I'm praying for you. Please send, send me mail. Let me know. It's not my secret. I receive it. I will receive it by myself and, and reply you. And I'll be praying for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, today is Sunday. Let's take our offering. Let's take our offering today is Sunday. Now, wherever you are, in any country you are, you can give in your currency. You don't need to come to South Africa to give. You can go to our website. Go to please God, donate or partner with us and just uh, drop your offering there. Any amount, drop it there as the Lord leads you. Go no acknowledge it. will receive, acknowledge it. I'm be praying for you that the Lord will enlarge your territory this year and the mighty much Jesus. Let me pray for our offering. Father, we pray for this offering. We, we declare, God, that you open our doors for us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. As we drop this offering, let our harvest begin to drop this year in the name of Jesus. We declare we cannot be poor, we cannot be stranded in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Please. Uh, if to this of first time you're watching us, please subscribe to our channel so that anytime we upload the message, you will go live. You could be part of it, all right? Uh, we could, you could be notified, all right? Also, share our YouTube channel. Then also, uh, uh, go to our website and fill that form whereby we'll send you our newsletter every day. You know, we'll be sending every week, every Sunday, we'll send you a newsletter. Please go there and drop your details. We're going to send you our newsletter and let us know how it could be of a blessing to you we'll see you again on thursday god bless you to our brother in uh in um uh, brazil my daughter they celebrated celebrate our birthday last year we we'll celebrate you we we'll appreciate you god bless you this is your year in the mighty name of jesus god bless you cha cha and stay strong bye bye Amen.